I think that looking at Hollywood and how they've had just these ever expanding budgets after basically uh, the United States population, well, the global population was willing to consume just about anything they had. It's been an interesting uh, case study as more and more films, big budget films, Marvel, Disney, and otherwise break even, make only a small amount of money, or in some cases lose money. Like, did you ever think that you would see the day where a Pixar movie lost money like Lightyear did or movies like Thor only making a few bucks, essentially. Uh, you never really would have thought that. But now James Cameron's newest Avatar movie, Avatar The Way of the Water, needs to become the third highest grossing film in history just to break even. Just to break even. What a wild story. We'll get into that after a quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. They allow people to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so they can call themselves a lord or a lady officially. In return, they commit to plant a tree with every order and protect the beautiful, pristine woodlands of Scotland. Established Titles makes an absolutely amazing gift, and a person could officially get their name changed on documents. Their title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate and an official certificate with a crest. Established Titles is currently having a really big sale just for you, my subscribers. You can get an additional 10% off any purchase you make with the discount code the quartering so click the link below go to establishedtitles.com slash the quartering and use promo code the quartering to save an extra 10 percent today now to add some context okay the original avatar came out in 2009 never even saw the movie nothing i nothing did it didn't look exciting at all to me i don't know i feel like maybe i missed out i, I don't know it didn't really seem like you know i didn't really care about it but in 2009 dollars, which are significantly more than, you know, 2022 dollars, where I mean, do you know, judging for inflation. And in the original dollars is 2.9 billion dollars. The original Avatar movie, it's the highest grossing film of all time. Followed by Avengers Endgame with 2.79 billion dollars, Titanic with 2.2 billion. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens with 2 billion, dropping down Infinity War at 2 billion, then Spider Man No Way Home 2021 at just under 2 billion. And they just re released it probably to get it, I'm guessing, to try and push it into the top five spot. I don't know. I mean, Spider Man No Way Home could legitimately catch uh, Infinity War with this re release. I don't know. But he had Jurassic Park, The Lion King, The Avengers Furious 7, also hilarious. That that movie made so much money. Top Gun Maverick rocketing up the charts at $1.486 billion. So <clears throat> you have a lot. Frozen 2 actually up there. That's nuts. So in order to just break even, it's going to have to make $2 billion minimum. The Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day director provided his insight into the return trip to Pandora's necessary financial milestones during a recent profile interview given to GQ. Asked by the outlet's senior staff writer, Zach Barron, it could, if you could give any details on just how much money was spent on the nine-year journey to bring the way of water to realization, Cameron simply asserted that the film was very effing expensive. I don't think it's going to do it. I think it's going to be, I think they're going to, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way Avatar. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if the budget is two billion, a billion dollars, and they spend another billion on advertising, I suppose. Recalling how he had admitted to the Disney higher ups that the film was quote the worst business case in movie history, the director then proceeded to inform Baron that The Way of the Water would have to be the third or fourth highest grossing film in history just to turn a profit. That's your threshold. He added. That's your break even. So again, it has to make $2 billion just to break even. $2 billion. $2 billion just to break even. 
there's no way. I don't. I just don't see it. There's no way. I, I mean, this could. This film could absolutely massively flop, especially in a world right now where they don't have the Chinese market guaranteed. You know, will they? Will they? Will this show in China or not? Because without that, I mean, China's probably in the original release probably did two hundred to four hundred billion or million alone. Yet, despite the daunting goal, Cameron found himself unwilling to compromise on his artistic visions no matter what. I used to be really defensive about that exact, uh, the fact that films like Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and Titanic were some of the most expensive to produce because it was always the first thing anyone would mention. He explained that, and I'm like, yeah, if I can make a business case to spend a billion dollars on a movie, I will effing do it. Do you know what, uh, do you want to know why, Cameron? Then asked Baron. Because we don't put it all on a pile and light it on fire. We give it to people. The studio agrees that's a good investment as opposed to buying an oil lease off the north of Scotland, which somebody would think is a good investment. Why not do it, he argued. According to Box Office Mojo, as of this writing, Avatar The Way of the Water needs to secure at least $2.7 billion at the worldwide box office to uh, and in process derank Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens in order to break even. $2.7 billion. So this must be U.S. box offices only on this list. Because two point seven billion here would be this says worldwide, so I don't know. That's a that's an interesting that would put it as a number, basically a number two of all time. Unless these haven't been updated. Or maybe that they're adjusting for inflation in their number. It's tough to say. And while this feat may seem daunting, the way of the water may have a fair chance of pulling it off thanks to the announcement. Oh, here we go. That China will in fact be uh in, be allowing the uh them to once again cross their borders. After all, it was thanks in large part uh, audiences within the Red Dragon and the first Avatar was able to take home a record-setting $2.9 billion worldwide box office pull. Avatar The Way to Water is currently set to release in theaters on December 16th. As confirmed by Baron by Cameron, a third entry to the franchise has already been filmed and a fourth is currently filming. I just don't know. I, I mean... I don't understand. Am I, am I, am I, what am I missing about Avatar? Is it that good? I'm willing to be wrong about it. I just, rem like, I remember when it came out, right? And basically everyone had seen it. Everyone was seeing it. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, it looks like a cartoon. I'm not interested in seeing that. What was it that made it such a huge global success? I mean, you see, it's insane to me. Billions, three billion dollar. I mean, I guess like maybe. You know, I think at this point I'm gonna have to actually check this movie out because you know I have to watch the original. Maybe it won't hit the same because I'm going into it being like, man, that made three billion dollars. But man, three billion dollars in today's marketplace, I just don't. I don't know. I mean, are you interested in seeing Avatar? Who's the Avatar fan? It's been 13 years. Do you think there's anything like, what, did it end in a cliffhanger? Are there are that many people hanging around, like wondering, you know, what's going on in this, in this fake world? Like, what, let's say they released a new Lord of the Rings movie right now. Would that make three billion? I don't think so. Now, if it really is as visually stunning as everybody, you know, says, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people talk about it ripping off Pocahontas or whatever, but he says he had the idea for it in a dream. Um, I don't know if he was on some of the, some fancy teas or something like that. Not anything that Coffee Brand Coffee sells, but um, wow, this is shocking. This is a premium Hollywood bloat right here, and I think I strongly uh, suspect that this is gonna completely backfire. But hey. You tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. I'm absolutely baffled by this. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.